Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Twitter header for yourselves in Pixlr E so you guys don't have to pay for Photoshop or sign up for any type of subscription at all. It's completely free. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to obviously customize it for yourself and have your own name. And as always, I will provide you guys a template as well as some other free stuff as well. So if you guys could go down there, hit that subscribe button and also hit a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it and it really helps me out a lot. I have a super cool banner for you guys today. This one using some gradient stuff so it's a little bit new it's gonna look super super cool but let's go ahead and just jump into the actual tutorial All right, so as you guys can see here, this is what the banner looks like. It's actually a Twitter banner that I made for clicks. And obviously I will show you guys, as I said before, how to customize it for yourself. But first things first, make sure to go down in the description to a Google Drive link at the very top. Go ahead and click that. And as always, you guys can just download everything from that Google Drive link and just download it to your desktop or somewhere accessible. I have mine all in this little folder right here. So the first thing we're actually gonna do after we download everything is go to our browser. Once we're in our browser, we're gonna go to pixlr.com right here. And I will also leave a link to Pixlr E in the description if you guys just want to click that. Now we're going to go to create new. I'm going to go to width and I'm going to type in 1500 and then, oh, that's not right. And then I'm going to type in 500 for the height. Again, this is the exact resolution for a Twitter header. Um, I'm just going to name it clicks banner, even though I'm actually just going to use my name as an example this time. Um, we're just going to click create. As you guys can see here, it gives us sort of like a banner, um, kind of like template or whatever. All we need to do now is go to layer, add image as layer. And then in that Google Drive that you guys downloaded earlier, um, in that folder, there is a template for you guys. So right here, it says template new. And I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And then as you guys can see, I have my completely already formatted um, template for you guys. So you guys don't have to do anything. It's really, really nice. Again, I provide these for free. So if you guys could go down there, uh, hit a like on this video and also uh, hit the notification bell. It really helped me out a lot. Anyway, we're just going to leave that layer how it is. Now, what we're going to do first actually is we're going to go ahead and get the Fortnite render in. So we're just going to go to layer, add image as layer. And then again, in that folder, there was this render that I provided for you guys for free. Um, we're going to get it, click it in right away. And I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to free transform right away. And I'm going to just grab this. And I'm going to drag it down a little bit just so it kind of looks like the one that I made for, you know, the actual thumbnail. We're going to go ahead and size it kind of how I had it. I had the head just sticking up a little bit. And right about there is looking good. And we're going to go ahead and click yes. Now let's go ahead and touch up the render real quick. We're going to go to make sure we're clicked on that render. Again, you can kind of um, right click it and name it like Fortnite render. If you guys don't want to get it confused with other ones, but we're going to again, make sure we're clicked on the Fortnite render. I'm going to go to adjustment and I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. I'm just going to give this a little bit of contrast, just a tad brightness, and it should just look a little bit better. And I'm also going to click on this Fortnite render and I'm going to go to filter and then I'm going to go to outer glow. And then I'm actually just going to give this kind of like an orange outer glow by clicking on the orange, um, kind of like on the background to get that exact color. I'm going to click. Okay. I'm going to make the opacity kind of a lot less. I'm going to make the feather a lot more and then we're going to drag this size up kind of to give kind of a kind of a cool glow behind the character. You guys can kind of adjust it again how you guys like to. And then we're also going to go to filter and then I'm going to go to drop shadow and I'm just going to add a little bit of a drop shadow to this character as well. Um, we're going to have it offset a little bit here for the X offset a little bit here for the Y so it looks like it's just underneath. We're gonna adjust the transparency and then we're gonna go to apply. Now that we have our render done, all we need to focus on is the text that we want on here. So we're gonna go to the text tool down here, the little T. I'm gonna click anywhere on the project. I'm gonna click add. And then I'm actually going to type in my text, which is I'm just gonna put ice as an example for myself actually. Now the key thing here is we need to obviously get the font that I showed you guys in the thumbnail. So I did provide the exact font in the Google Drive again in the link in the description. So um, what I'm going to actually going to do here is I'm going to again make sure I'm clicked on the text tool. I'm going to go down to the font. I'm going to go to add local font because it is a separate font that I found online. Um, make sure you guys again download it. We're going to double click on this thicker one right here. This is Apex and Medium. We're going to double click that. And then as you guys can see, it doesn't quite select it right away, but here it is, shows up right on the top. It's awesome. We're going to double click that. And as you guys can see, I have my name right here. So I'm actually just going to put IC because I'm going to make the E um, kind of like that gradient color. As you guys see here, I'm going to make the last color or the last letter um, actually like fully gradient. So I'm going to have IC. I'm going to click the text tool again. We're going to click the size thing. and I'm going to drag the size up a bit just to kind of match how it kind of looked in the thumbnail. 
Um, drag the size up just a bit more. And then that looks about good. So now I'm gonna take this IC, I'm gonna click the three dots, I'm gonna duplicate this layer. I'm gonna use the arrow key to kind of move it all the way over. And I want this one to just be the last letter in my name. So I'm gonna have this as an E. So once it's lined up, I'm gonna click the E. I'm gonna go to layer. I'm gonna go to rasterize layer. So now what I'm gonna do after I rasterize that layer is I'm gonna again, make sure I'm clicked on it. I'm gonna go to select. I'm gonna go to select pixels. And as you guys can see, it selected the whole entire thing. So all we need to do to get the gradient is open up UI gradients in another tab. I'll have a link in the description if you guys do just wanna click that um, to make it easier. Um, I'll have a link to this direct um, gradient that I found right here. It just goes from like a darker orange to a brighter orange. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the gradient um, tool right down here We're gonna click on the color right here And we're gonna click on this white on the left side and we're gonna go to the color now We're gonna go back to UI gradients and we're gonna copy the first one by just clicking it Automatically copies it and then I'm gonna copy it right into the hex number down here I'm gonna click Control V to kind of shortcut it and then I'm gonna click the other color on the other side I'm gonna click this thing and then I'm gonna go back to the gradients tool go to the right one click it So it copies and then I'm just gonna paste it right into the hex number and that's how I get that cool gradient And now I can click out of that make sure I'm again clicked on the E and also have the pixels completely selected You guys can see it around and I'm actually just gonna drag it from corner to corner and as you guys can see I'm gonna go to select deselect and that's how I get that cool gradient over the last letter now As you guys can see if I go back we have the energy logo above here Then I also have some cool text down here um, to do the cool text down there All we need to do is go back to the type tool uh, we're gonna add text and actually it's a completely separate font but of it's of like the same uh type of like variety of font we're gonna click add local font and we're actually just gonna choose the extra light version of that one we're gonna double click it i'll uh, make sure again we're clicked on the extra light and then we're actually just gonna type in professional or actually i'm just gonna type in youtuber uh youtuber slash content creator because obviously I'm not a Fortnite uh, professional player. I never have been. I probably never will be. YouTuber slash content cre... Oh, definitely didn't spell that right. There we go. All right. And then now that we have that, I'm actually just going to highlight it all. Um, actually, we already have it on white. So we should be good on that end. Perfect. Now we're just going to go to the uh, back to the text tool. I'm going to grab the size make it a bit smaller so that's pretty much the tutorial all we need to do to finish it up is go to file and we're gonna go do save then i'm just gonna go make sure it's on jpg drag the quality all the way up to 100 percent double check that it's 1500 width by 500 height name it whatever we want then we're gonna go ahead and click download then all we need to do is click the arrow right here. I'm going to click show in folder. Then I usually just drag it to my desktop and then I apply it to my Twitter profile from my computer. If you guys had any questions about this tutorial at all, make sure to go ahead and leave it in the comments down below. I also have multiple free tutorials, including a Valorant header tutorial, a Valorant thumbnail tutorial, and also a Warzone thumbnail tutorial coming very, very soon here on this channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed and have the notification bell on. I appreciate you guys so much for watching all the way till the end. I will catch you guys in the next video on the channel. Peace.